Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Dylan Hutchinson. And I'm Grace Guerin. Thanks for tuning in to this week's broadcast. Get ready to spice yourself up, Bears, because Pitcher Retake Day is this Friday. Last week, Grace gave us a small look into some of the new teachers around the campus. Well, she's back on town to shed some new light on the new Bears. During last week's broadcast, I introduced just a small amount of Palmer Ridge's new teachers, and this week I'm introducing even more. With all of the new teachers this year, I decided to take two weeks to cover them all. This week, I highlighted new teachers from every department, showing them in action. From different parts of the country and from different schools and even different careers, Palmer Ridge has a newly diverse bunch of teachers we're happy to have. The students have been fantastic. Um, they are wonderful, um, happy all the time, and um, like truly a joy to come here and teach every day. Yeah, so the students are great. They care. Um, they do their work. They uh, are respectful of the staff and of each other. Um, and I think that I'm going to be able to build some good relationships with the students here. So glad that we have so many new faces. Let's make sure we make them feel welcome. For Ridgeline, this is Grace Guerin. Thanks, Grace, for giving us a glance at all the brand new teachers. I'm sure all of you can't escape the magnificent view of the mountains. Well, Dylan got a closer peek at it. Hello, Bears. While walking across the bridge, you may have looked at the marvelous mountains that lie just west of our school. Today, I decided to take a closer look at what lies in just our backyards. Whether you're going across a river or exploring what lies below, there's a lot you can do on a hike, from dusk to dawn. You can explore to your heart's content, and maybe you can get a glimpse of the wildlife. Many people like to explore the natural phenomenon, like the moon and the magnificent sun. I love mm -hmm. nature, away from society, peace and quiet, watch the birds, listen to the squirrels. Uh, nature! I'm a nature freak, what can I say? Whether you're an outdoors person or not, you may want to check out what lies just in our backyards. For Ridgeline, this is Dylan Hutchinson. Thanks, Dylan, for exploring our mountains. One benefit to being a senior is all the activities this school arranges for you. Be sure to give warm welcome to one of our returners, Michelle, as she covers the senior sunrise. A couple weeks ago, our seniors got together to open up the beginning of their last year of high school. Students bundled up in blankets and sipped hot chocolate as they watched the sunrise. The senior sunrise is a way for seniors to get together and enter the year all together before the class of 2018 goes their separate ways. Parent volunteers also helped to make the get together as great as it was. I went to Senior Sunrise because it's a, like it was I could see my friends and we just had a good time. You know, we got to hang out together and just make memories. I think everyone can agree the first light was a beautiful way to begin the year. Thank you for shining your light on all the fun. The school year can be too much sometimes, but don't worry, Homework Club is here to help. What's up, Palmer Ridge? In case you didn't know, there is this after-school activity called Homework Club. Basically, you just do homework. You can get help from teachers and study and get help. I think Homework Club is a really great place for students to come and get support, both from students who volunteer to tutor mm -hmm. and from math teachers. We have two to three math to teachers who come um, every day. We have Homework Club. Um, so especially with students who need help with math, they can get help with that. Yeah, if you ever need extra help, go to the library after school to 4 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Thanks, Alex. This club will surely help a lot of fairs get back on track. Working on your own artwork can be really fun. Well, Mackenzie takes it into the third dimension. Thanks, Kenzie. You really shaped my view on 3D art. What's a Ridgeline show without a weather report from good old Brinkley? Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Brinkley, your weather girl, and I have this week's forecast right behind me. Well, taking a look at the pressure map, we can see that there's high and low pressures all over the nation, especially Colorado. And the radar shows us that there is some rain sprinkled all over our nation. And we know that the East Coast is recovering from Hurricane Irma. But let's go to the five day and check out how this week is going to look for us here in Monument. Well, Monday is going to be a high of 73, Tuesday will be a high of 75, Wednesday 70, and finally Thursday and Friday will be 67 and 64. Well, Bears, that's all I have for you today. Whether you like it or not, that's this week's forecast. Back to y'all in the studio. Thanks, Brinkley. Hopefully we have good weather soon. 
And that's our show, Palmer Ridge. Have a good week, Bears.